Okay, we're going to do a quick video on how to install MySQL Server on a virtual machine. The Ubuntu server on the Mac OS. Go ahead and launch your virtual machine. If you don't have this installed, you can watch one of my other videos on how to install this on your Mac. Okay, once that's up, go ahead and log in with your Secret Squirrel login info. Once you're logged in, you will have that IP right there, which is 1.106. You can see it right there. What I like to do is go over here to a terminal window inside the Mac and SSH into that virtual machine. Go ahead and enter your Secret Squirrel password. And we are in. You should have the same IP here that you do up here. I have went ahead and pre-compiled a list of commands that we are going to run. Go ahead and copy this one right here. What this is going to do, sudo app-get update. It's going to update your repository info. We can copy and we can paste that right into the terminal. We cannot do that, unfortunately, inside the virtual machine. Once that is done, go ahead and select the next one, sudo apt-get install mysql server. It's going to install a copy of MySQL server on top of that Ubuntu server. Alright, after that is completed, you may get a uh, warning here that says you want to continue yes or no, and select yes because we actually fully 100% know what we're going to do. Go ahead and select this next one at line 12 here. sudo ufw allow. What that's going to do is allow it to bypass your firewall and be able to connect outside of the computer. Now mine says skipping adding existing rule because it already exists. Okay, go ahead and select sudo my this is going to allow you to set up that SQL server. Go hit enter. Go ahead and hit no for that selection. You can go back and uh, reread that if you want to and set that up. Go ahead and set up a password for MySQL Server. You can use the same secret squirrel login that you use for your server at this point. If you wanted to use something different, that is on you. Remove anonymous users. Yeah, we don't want any anonymous users. Disallow root login. Yes, what that'll do is not allow you to log in as root remotely. Remove test databases. Yes. Reload privilege table. Yes, because we want you to know what we've updated. All right, we are all done on that. Go ahead and select this next one. This is semi-important as this affects some machines and not all what we're going to do is we're going to edit the setup config file for mysql server and set the uh, host as a local when it binds to it instead of only binding to the local address it's going to bind to your internet address well your internet adapter address that way you can access it outside of your local when you get done editing that, and you just page up, page down, scroll down, whatever your fancy is. Go ahead and hit Control and O, and you're going to write that back out. Okay, after you do that, Control X and exit that table. You should come back to that screen. Now we're going to log into our MySQL server as root. Go ahead and copy that command over to here and hit Enter. Enter your password, your secret squirrel. All right, we are in there. All right, next we're going to create a new login for our best friend Master Chief, which I have pre-compiled here. You can change this user right here to whatever user you like. So you can call it, you know, Mulder and Scully. Uh, then your password for that user will go here. So if you want to say X files the password, Mulder just go to use user. You just change it accordingly. But we're not, so we're going to use this one. We're going to copy this one. Copy. We are going to paste it inside that login. Okay, you should get this message right here come up. And without any warnings, if you get any warnings, that's not good. All right, next step. We're going to grant the user we just created all permissions, pasting that command into the SSH. Okay, you should get the same thing. Query okay, zero is affected. Plus privileges. Copy that right there. Paste. Okay. 
Go ahead, exit that. We're going to restart that by entering this command right here. It's going to restart the MySQL server. Okay, you probably won't get any output for that. If you do get output, it's probably not good. Okay, so with all that done, we should now be able to go to our SQL Pro here. Type in that IP that we had earlier, which is 106. Change this to 43306, as that is the default for a MySQL server. We're going to select that user that we created. That's the username. That did not work, so we're going to try it one more time, then I'm going to copy it because I don't want to waste any time. That worked totally. Copy that password because, you know, Cortana knows everything. Right into that password field. And we should test it. Connection succeeded. Now, when we connect to this, this will show all of the default database that's available. So what we did, a quick recap, is we installed MySQL server on the virtual machine, created a new user that was not root, gave that user permissions, restarted the MySQL server, and connected from SQL Pro.